Welcome back to the Gun Dungeon, guys. Got a fun video to do here today, at least a fun one for me to shoot, because I get to shoot two of my favorite rifles. I get to use the old Marlin 336. This is a JM stamped 3030 20-inch barrel. And y'all know I love me a good SKS. Got my Norinco 20-inch barrel SKS out here. And I'm gonna be talking about these two rifles in the context of a utility rifle. Both of them have been known to kind of serve that role for a long time. Just kind of a, you know, on the farm type utility rifle. Uh, could serve as home defense in a pinch. Could be a good critter getter. Could be even a decent whitetail gun. Kind of a do it all utility rifle, just like I said. But, you know, the main difference between the two, one's a lever action, one is a semi-automatic. They're both 30 caliber bullets. There's the old 3030, and then there's the 762 by 39. And obviously the 3030 has more case capacity and it's gonna push a little bit heavier bullet, typically a little bit faster than the SKS round, 762 by 39. But in the grand scheme of things, the, the power is really, really close with the edge going to the 3030. Uh, some people would argue out to a certain distance because of the bullet profiles, whereas the 762 by 39 uses a Spitzer style bullet, pointed bullet, more aerodynamic. And you have to have a round nose, flat nose bullet for the 3030 because of the tubular magazine. Now that could be mediated with the Hornady FTX type bullets. You can load those or more aerodynamic friendly but that's really the only option I know of that allows that, but it's still an option, so you can't just take it away. But typically speaking, 3030 is gonna have a little bit more power, whereas in these two platforms, the SKS is gonna have a little bit more fire power. And what I mean by that is the SKS is gonna have 10 rounds in the magazine, whereas your 3030 is gonna have less than that, depending on your tube length, of course. But you can even get aftermarket mags for the SKS. You can go all the way up to 30 round mags. Uh, the fixed mags are typically gonna be 10 round. You can get some of the Chinese 20 round mags. So typically you're gonna have a little bit more firepower on hand with an SKS as opposed to a lever action 3030. Now I know with the old 3030, you can get the bandolier type uh, slings. You can get the buttstock carriers to carry more ammo. But the same can be said for the SKS, if we were looking at that option. But on gun, in the gun, in the magazine, you're gonna get a little bit more, a little bit more capacity with the SKS, but a little less powerful round. So it's kind of a trade-off. Can't have a free lunch, as uh, Iraq Veteran 8888 says. So let's talk a little bit about the size and weight comparison. They're both 20 inch barrels. You can get a 22 inch barrel. The Yugos I think are 22 in the SKS, but typically they're gonna be 20 inch barrels unless you get the Yugo. Now the lever action 3030s, this one is a 20 inch. You can get 16 inch, you can get 18 inch. I think the Lone Ranger, you can even get a 24 inch, but you can get different options. They're just like anything else. You can get different flavors. And let's just talk a little bit since we're talking about flavors. Let's talk a little bit about the safeties on the lever actions because there are a few different variants out there. As you can see, this one has a cross bolt safety. I'm not a big fan of cross bolt safeties, but this one has one. I typically just leave it off. And what I like about the 3030s is the old half cock safety. There it is. You're not going to pull the trigger there, but that's, that's what I typically use is just the half cock and then go from there. But in saying that, the cross bolt safety is handy to have. Let's say you chamber around and now you're, you're cocked, your hammer's all the way back and you wanna move it to the half cock safety. You can turn your cross bolt on and release that hammer up to the cross bolt and now you're at the half cock. See how that works? So the safety is on. So I can't go farther than that. It will not go on up and hit the firing pin with that cross bolt on. Now with that off, if I was to do the same thing and my thumb was to slip off, boom, I can have a, an, an ND fire the round. But you know, having that cross bolt does out allow a diff, another layer of safety. And I know like the Rossies, they have a safety on the top up here, the R92s, 
it's kind of a, a little different design, but kind of the same concept. You just, you still have the half cock, but you have a different style of safety to go along with it. Now, when it comes to the SKS, they're all pretty well the same. It's right here, right by the trigger. That is fire, that is safe. That's about all you got. And I like that, I like that safety. It's in a good place, easy to get to. You can feel when you come bring the gun up, you can manually feel, all right, safety is on, flip it off, good to go. So pretty simple design, about lost my 30-30 there. See those cat-like reflexes of mine? That's right, boys. I'm a superhuman over here. <laughs> but anyways, it's a pretty simple design on the safety of the SKSs. Kind of hard to get, get wrong. If your finger goes in the trigger guard going for the trigger and the safety's on, you will feel it. If you don't feel it, the safety is off. Y'all be sure to go check out Vetter Holsters, big sponsor of the channel. Have about any kind of holster you can think of. There's one of the cool designs that they have. You saw the blood red holster for my XDM 10 millimeter. They make a holster for just about any gun out there. A lot of the 10 millimeter stuff. I use their light tuck. That's about all I use anymore for inside the waistband stuff. Great products, great company. Check out Vetter Holsters. You all be sure to go check out Target Sports USA. They're a big sponsor of the channel now. And if you use my link below, you're gonna get a free gift at checkout with your purchase. Their Ammo Plus membership is a great value. If you shoot very much at all through the year, it's gonna pay for itself in no time and then some. Be sure to check out Target Sports USA. So when it comes to the ammo selection, I know we talked a little bit about the ammo and the differences already. Uh, from a reloading perspective, they're not a whole lot different. They both come with their own different challenges. The 7.62 by 39, of course, has the oddball 308 diameter bullet because it's not actually 308, it's .3110. So you're limited based on, on your bullet selection just based on that diameter requirement. Whereas the 3030, you're limited on your bullet selection there, even though it is a standard 0 .308 diameter bullet, you still have to pick the profile that's friendly with the 3030, and that's gonna be the flat nose, round nose type bullets, or the FTX. So you're still limited with these two cartridges, more so than say 308, uh, 30 6 some of the more common bolt action style 30 caliber rounds. These two both bring a little bit of a difference that makes it a little harder to select the bullets. So I'm gonna give it a wash because they're both large rifle primers. A little bit more powder goes into the 3030, but from a reloading perspective, I'm gonna call it a wash between the two. Now buying factory ammunition, used to that was a no brainer. The win went to the 762 by 39 because you could get the ammo dirt cheap. And that's not so the case anymore. 3030 is still gonna be a little bit more expensive but not as much as it used to be as far as over the 7.62 by 3.9. As far as that advantage, that, that advantage of the 3.9 has been lost quite a bit in the last four or five years, mainly the last three to four years, actually, because Biden's been in for three and a half. So, yeah, he put a hurting on all that. But, yeah, and when it comes to the guns, the costs used to be, mm, the SKSs used to be really dirt cheap. But at the same time, you could get a decent 336 Marlin, Winchester 94, or something like that for around 250, 300 bucks back in the day, back whenever SKSs were around 100 bucks. Now, the the 3030s, the Marlin lever actions, even the new ones, you're you're pushing like you can get some used 336s on Gunbroker for they're pushing five, six hundred bucks these days. The new ones pushing closer to a grand. You know, some of the higher end ones are over a thousand dollars. Uh, SKS's, they've went up to, now you're looking 400, 450 bucks, maybe even 500 bucks for a decent SKS. So the cost of the gun, cost of the ammo, you're gonna have a little bit of an advantage with the SKS over a lever action 3030. Now, one advantage that I would like to show that some of the lever actions have kind of mitigated, but is unloading the rifle. And a lot of people don't think about that or talk about that, but once you load your, your rounds into this gun, you can simply dump them out the bottom of this magazine. Now this is the standard, you know, 10 round mag. If, if you have a detachable mag, it's a, a little bit different, but you can still unload it fairly quickly. When you load up your lever action at least this model and you fill her all the way up and chamber one, your only option to take them out now is to cycle them all the way through, every one of them 
through the gun to empty the gun. That's a little bit cumbersome, a little bit pain in the butt. It's doable, but that advantage does go to the SKS on being able to unload quickly. And now when it comes to loading it back up, you're also gonna have the advantage to the SKS. Not only is it easier to just pop them in from the top and you can do 10 just single-handedly, but you can also use stripper clips. And that's where the bigger advantage comes when, it, when, it, when we're talking about reloads. And it's gonna be using the stripper clips. You don't have that option with a lever action 3030. Now, when it comes to accuracy, I can't really give an advantage to either one here because they both will shoot as well as I can shoot with iron sights. Strangely enough, you wouldn't guess it, but the trigger advantage actually goes to the SKS. The trigger's just a little bit better. Typically lever actions, they can be made better, but typically they'll have a pretty harsh wall, pretty harsh trigger in general. So when it comes to reliability, I don't think you're really gonna have an advantage there with either one of them either. If you take care of these guns, they will take care of you. It's really that simple. All it comes down to is which one you like better, which one you shoot better. They're both gonna have a little bit different balance point. They're both gonna aim a little bit different, shoulder a little bit different. The recoil impulse is gonna be a little stouter with the 3030. SKS is gonna take a little bit more of it. Semi-auto and a smaller round, so adds up. But yeah, it comes down to what lines you like better. What, what tickles your pickle when it comes to just looking at the rifle, feeling the rifle, shooting the rifle? Because you're not gonna go wrong with either one of them. I think they're both great choices. If I had to pick one as a do everything, I really don't know. I, man, I hate to I hate to even say it because I love both of them so much. But I'd, I'd probably I'd probably take the the lever action just because the round is a little bit more a little bit more versatile on what it can and can't do. That's probably that's probably what I would do because I don't shoot I don't shoot game past 100 150 yards. I live in East Kentucky. If you're shooting 200 250 yards, you're shooting from a ridge top to a ridge top because we don't we don't we have hay fields that sometimes you can get long shots in, but not a whole lot. If you're in the woods, you're not getting very long shots. So most of my shots are within 100 yards, and the 100, the 3030 is going to have more horsepower inside that 100 yards than the SKS. So. I'm probably I'm probably gonna take the 3030. Plus it's nostalgic, man. Who don't like working a lever action? Anyways, that's what I got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Which one of these two are you choosing? Till next time, guys. Stay tuned. Oh,